Hello my dear student. Today I am going to discuss about some MCQ type physics question. This is my physics notebook. Today I am going to discuss about some important MCQ question related with density, force and velocity time graph. Question number one. The diagram shows a measuring cylinder containing a liquid and that same measuring cylinder when it is empty. The mass of the empty measuring cylinder is 100 gram and mass of the cylinder with liquid 190 gram. So what is the density of the liquid? Here mass of the empty cylinder M0 equal to 100 gram and mass of the cylinder measuring cylinder with liquid is 190 gram. So mass of the liquid liquid 190 gram minus 100 gram so 90 gram and volume of the liquid is 30 centimeter cube so density rho equal to mass divided by volume so mass here 90 gram and volume 30 centimeter cube so density will be 3 gram per centimeter cube so correct answer here B. B is the correct answer here. Next question. Question number two. A block of an unknown material is shown in the diagram. Its mass is 500 gram. Mass is 500 gram and length, breadth and width of the block are given on the diagram. What is the density of the block? We know density equal to density of a regular shaped block is mass divided by volume. So mass volume is length into breadth into height. So correct answer will be C, C, 500 divided by 7 into 15 into 8 gram per centimeter cube. Now question number 3, a geologist wants to determine the density of the object shown below. What needs to be known in order to calculate its density? A, option A, radius, the radius of the base of the cone and weight of the cone, the surface area of the base of the cone and height of the cone, the volume of the cone and the mass of the cone, the height of the cone and so we know density equal to mass divided by volume. If we know the uh, mass of the cone and volume of the cone, then we can easily calculate the density of the cone. Now question number four. Question number four. Two beams have the same rectangular cross section but one is longer than the other. Both beams are made from the same material. Which quantity is the same in both beams? Remember density density is the property of the material. Here, both beams are made from the same material. So, density remains same. So, density is the property of a material. It is a, a fundamental property. So, that's why density remains same. Now, question number five. Which of the graph B 
below shows an object which is moving with constant speed. Remember here A, B, C, D, option A, B, C, D, all are distance time graph. If we know speed equal to speed equal to distance moved distance moved divided by time taken or from the graph speed equal to gradient of the distance time graph gradient so a d option is correct here d option is correct here because uh, here distance time graph is a steeper straight line so that's why it has a constant gradient so option d is correct answer now the diagram shows four objects each with a different mass each object is acting on the forces shown which object will experience the largest acceleration? So, acceleration depends on, we know F equal to M into A, mass into acceleration. So, acceleration equal to force divided by mass. The, the diagram shows four objects each with different mass. Each object is acted on the forces shown. Which object will experience the largest acceleration? So we have to find out the first uh, resultant force here. Here resultant force is 20 Newton to the left. To the left. And here B, uh, option B, resultant force is 0, 0 Newton. And option C, minus 20 Newton. So that means 20 Newton to the left, 20 Newton to the left. And option D, resultant force is So, 90, 25, so minus 25 Newton. So, acceleration for A is force 20 and mass 10, so 2 meter per second square, option A. <coughs> Sorry. For option B, zero acceleration because resultant force is zero here. Option C, option C, A equal to force uh, here twenty and uh, mass here five, so four meter per second square. So option C is 4 and option D A equal to here force uh, force 25 minus 25 that, so 25 divided by 7.5 7.5 so 25 divided by 3.5 3 meter per second square. So maximum acceleration will be C. Option C is correct here. C option C is correct here. Now question number six: An object with three forces acting on it is shown below. What is the resultant force acting on the object? So here, up, uh, up total downwards force is. 200 Newton 
and upward force 75 Newton minus 35 Newton so 200 minus 110 Newton so 90 Newton downwards downwards so correct answer will be 90 Newton downwards option A thank you for watching my video if you like this video then subscribe my channel hit the bell button to get the like this video